Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue our little cutting compound contest and in particular we're going to take a look at Roop's Zephyr Gloss Coarse Gel Compound. So what we have so far is Sonax Cut Max at the top spot. We have Jescar Correction Compound, very close, Silver. We have 3D HD Cut Plus. Bronze, honorable mention, goes to Ardex Car Pro and Last Cut. All of these excellent compounds, guys. This just happens to be the order in my particular environment. This may change a little bit for you guys. But let's see if the Roops Zephyr Gloss Coarse Gel Compound can break into the podium. The Roops Coarse comes in two sizes that I have found anyways. 250 milliliters for 16 bucks and one liter for a little over 50 bucks. A bit pricey, so this stuff better be good. The Roops Course is the most abrasive in their polishing system, and all polishes in their system are designed to work well with the polishers that they have, and they have quite a line. They put the formula together for high performance to achieve optimum results in very little time and with very little compound. We will put that through a little bit of a test today. I have five sections masked off with tape and we're gonna put some sanding marks in each one of those sections, starting with 500 grit, going all the way down to 800 grit. They usually run into failure at the 1000 grit section and some very few start to fail at the 1500 mark already. The 800 grit section, the compounds we're testing really aren't designed to correct. However, it is fun to see how far um, and what kind of attempt these compounds give in that section. We'll work that hard in the second part of this test as well. Okay, good enough. I'm going to clean off the moisture and the residue. I'm going to remove the masking tape and we'll move on with the testing. But before we start testing, I like to put a little bit of the product on the panel, spread it out and see if I can find or feel the coarseness or the grittiness of the compound. Sometimes you can see it and feel it. I can't see it or feel it here. Um, now, a high percentage of the time, if that's the case, there shouldn't be much dusting. Sometimes there is. It doesn't always work that way. And when you flip that on the other side, if I feel some grittiness and, and I can see it on the panel, that would mean we're going to have some pretty serious dusting. But again, that's not always 100% either. Okay, so I spread out the compound evenly across each section, and we're going to use the three inch polisher. It's a Flex XFE 71283 3-inch polisher. I have just your standard orange cutting pad foam attached to the backing plate. And we're going to take a run all the way down from the 2500 grit through the 800 grit section and make a return trip. Even speed, even pressure. We're going to have nice slow arm movements. And it's going to be pretty much exactly like all of the tests we have done before. Same speed everything.
Okay, that's going to do it. Remember, when you turn off the machine, wait till the pad and the backing plate stop spinning and oscillating. It's easier on your polisher and your pads. Give me a second. I'm going to grab the camera, bring you down in close, and we'll see how the Roops course worked. One thing I noticed that started very early on, and you guys know absolutely drives me nuts, it started to dust, and I'll show you all the different places here. Okay, before we take a look at these sections, we want to wipe off the product, see how easy it is to wipe off residue. And it comes off rather quickly, rather easily, no effort. That's good. Okay, we'll start at the 2500 grit. It breezed right through there. And we're going to go next to the 2000 grit. And next, the 1500. And I could see it actually started to fail here. And they're actually a mark or two um, visible in the 2000 grit section. The 1000 grit really struggled. And the 800 grit, it uh, didn't do very much here. Uh, where some of them actually had a very good attempt. I'll get as many angles as I can so you can see how the Roops course worked. Okay, just like in all the other tests, we're going to concentrate now on the last two sections, the 800 and the 1000 grit sections. And we're gonna reload the pad and we're gonna do a little bit of extended working time on this area. I'm looking at a couple things here. Uh, I wanna see how long the cycle time or the op open time is for this compound. See how long we can work it until it turns into an oily film on the panel. I also wanna see how bad the dusting can get which drives me crazy. And I also want to see how hard it is to remove the residue that is left behind after we raise temperatures quite a bit. And then I also want to see after it's removed, has it done any work on those last two sections? Okay, I think that's going to be long enough. We did a couple passes. We did a crisscross pattern. Let me put the polisher down. Give me a minute to grab the camera here and I'll bring you in close and see what we have. We have it reduced to an oily film and again, heavy dusting. So that was kind of a surprise to me. I don't like to put companies and brands down, but really, God bless you guys. I really respect and admire those of you who work with their polishes and polishers on a daily basis. I personally, I can't. I can't do it. I would love to hear your stories for those of you who use the Roops polishers and the Roops compounds. I have one left. I gave the rest away. I have the LHR75 pneumatic polisher, which I really enjoy. The rest uh, are gone. So if you have those, share your experience. Let us know how they work for you. Okay, to sum up the experience with the Roops course, it will not break into the podium. Okay, gang. Again, that was the Roops Zephyr Gloss Coarse Gel Compound. I honestly don't think I'd be able to get that to work in my environment, in my shop. However, if it's working for you, 
for Pete's sake, carry on. I will put a link down below if you want to give it a try. And when it comes to the podium, it's not going to break into our podium. So this is how it will stand until next time. The Sonax Cutmax Plus, an excellent compound and very close to Jess Car Correction Compound. Then we have the 3D HD Plus. We have Ardex, Car Pro, and the last cut in the honorable mention and all of these, all six of these compounds are incredible. And I would not hesitate to try and use any of these. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.